Hello and welcome to TCG Deck Tech. Today we're going to play Corina Control, which might be the best control right now in the game. So it's a deck that focuses on uh, basically two cards, Commander Ledros and Corina Verasa. Uh, if you don't know, Corina Verasa uh, basically obl obliterates the top five cards of your deck and you deal one damage to en each enemy and your opponent um, for each spell you have. So you have a lot of spells in this deck um, to be... To be um, clear it's uh, 29 spells here and only 11 units you do have the Vi new in the deck and also the gacha new in the deck so it was still a very good control concept before this expansion but with the expansion it got uh, a lot of more firepower and Vi is just such a nice card in this deck because uh, she gets stronger and stronger as the game goes on and at some point you can just atrocity her into your opponent's face and deal all the damage. 10 damage is the most you can do. Or yeah, if you play the wall breaker, you can even do more if you have multiple vice. But basically 10 damage should be enough, especially if you play your commander Ledros beforehand. That's why I put in two atrocities in this deck, while other people only put one atrocity in the deck. And I think it worked a lot better since I put in the second atrocity. And it really propelled this deck forward. So... Yeah, basically the rest of the game you're just trying to stall, you're trying to get some spiders on the board, get some Elise going, make you even more spiders, and yeah, just have the removal spells uh, you play. But I think even with some kind of um, aggro -y slant you can play it sometimes. Uh, last uh, uh, Yesterday I played like a match where I totally just ran them over with Elise, so that's also possible in this deck, but most of the time you want to play late. Against Braum Vladimir, I'm a bit worried. I don't have that great of a removal. I have Thermogenic Bean in my deck, but I didn't uh, draw it until now. And I also have... This one I can get rid of. And I also have one copy of Vengeance, but only one copy. And two copies of the Ruination. So, not the best, uh, not the best way to start the match here. But I hope I'm going to find some other good, good things here to get rid of the Braum especially. Because with regeneration the Braum is just so annoying. Curator is okay. I'll have to uh, let its ability run its course unfortunately. But yeah, sometimes you need to do it. And they're going to pump it of course. It's bad. So yeah, I think that's that's a matchup that's not good for me here, especially with the cards I've drawn. Starlet's here. I'm I'm happy I kept my Thermogenic Beam for that. Don't want them to be even stronger here, especially with the Vladimir just making their po making their creatures hard to kill. It's very bad in this kind of situation. Disciple I can get rid of with Grasp if I want to, if I really need to. Not for now, I think. Just gonna get some spiders, some blockers here. Wouldn't have been worth because I wasn't at uh, like the life total where I could use it to the full effect of uh, draining free. Ah, that's a tough one. And another curator. So I think I wanna save some mana up for the ruination. It's probably the best way to go here. Thermogenic beam is nice. But I think I'm just gonna save. And next turn I'm gonna have the ruination online. Turn after that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I need to remove something else. But next turn, I think I'm going to be fine for now. For the Empire. Okay, they're damaging this one and not the uh, Crimson Disciple. It's interesting. Uh, if I play this, I can't play the Ruination next turn. 
but it's it's just really worth right now i think because I'm denying them their uh, damage and I'm getting some life back, so that's double worth. That's unfortunate. Gonna use the beam to finally get rid of it. That's, that wasn't worth it at all. Still it isn't that bad really if you look at it because I can block this one and this one with the spiders and can block the omen hog as well so I also got some life back so it's okay. Another disciple is very bad though. They are gonna do a lot of damage here. Can't really do anything against it. Okay. Yeah. Need to take that for damage here. Or more. If they decide to do something else. That's... That's bad. But I can't play the Ruination next turn at least. So I have to hope I get back from this. I should have played the Static Shock maybe. Draw a card. That's where I'm just gonna lose mana. Well, they still have 8 mana, they can do a lot of things in this turn. I will have Ledros next turn though, it's also a very nice blocker. Not only will it do uh, about, uh, give them about half damage, like it's gonna go on 9 I think, or 10, I'm not sure. It's supposed to be rounded up, but yesterday I had a match where it wasn't rounded up for some reason. Or oh, I just saw it wrong, I don't know was very strange. Ooh. Mm. Have to do two with the ring whales here. Just to survive. Hmm, that's a tough one. I think I've lost this. I've des definitely lost this. Okay, well, it was a hard matchup. I think I, I've came, I came through re really nice, uh, considering that. And I didn't have a draw at all. It wasn't a good draw with this deck. Well, I would wanted to f have found something more aggressive, maybe. Also, they had some some very nice counter plays there. Against this deck though, I should be fine. Now I need stuff like the Ruination, I guess. Vi is very nice. I have to kill them before they have their deep going. Second Vi is unfortunate, I don't need her. But I can play the first Vi more aggressively, of course, now. There's the ruination as well, perfect. Let's see what my spiders can do. They probably have withering whale as well, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna pump up my vice here at this point. Probably gonna pay at least vile feast, if not withering whale. Yeah, that's a wild feast. I'm just gonna attack. Feeling feeling good here. Gonna do some damage, make them make a move. 
was to be expected. Can Mystic shut this to not give them the life back? Do I want to do that though? Probably considering gonna play the Vi next turn anyways. Well, now, now it doesn't matter really. Can Mystic shot one of those and uh, still gonna be at 20 life. It's okay though. Empty board. I have 3 mana. They have 2. Nothing too bad. Nothing too bad at all. I think I'm going to play my Vine now because... Hmm, Gacha is very nice. Can e even use that this turn. Depending on what they play here. Because they could have Vengeance. No, they don't. Okay. But yeah, having the Vi as, as a pressure point is pretty nice. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Make the Vi even bigger. They have to do something against it. And they don't have the mana for Vengeance, at least in this turn. Maybe they do it next turn. Still can't do too much proactively. Because there's nothing really to do with my cards yet. Ledros and uh, Corina are gonna take some time. But I think I'm in a very good position. They haven't tossed anything yet, really. Also, um, yeah. They are just hanging on for their life right now, really. Uh, should have done that earlier, maybe. Just gonna wanna use my mana here. Yeah, should have done that earlier, they would have been at 10 life. But I didn't know if they had vengeance or something like that. Gotcha might be really nice here. Yeah, it is. It is. Vile Feast would have been even better, but I'm, I'm taking the that one. Vice gonna live for now. Atrocity, okay. Do I want to protect my Vi? Not really. I have another one of those. And it's very, very much pumped here. Now it's round 9. There is Commander Ledros and that just might be GG if they don't have the Ruination here. Yeah, they just didn't draw anything. So last game I had the bad draw and this game they had the bad draw. Let's hope in uh, the next game we're gonna have some more competitive play where we actually interact with your opponent. But I'm not gonna make this video too long, so this is uh, gonna be the last match here. But yeah, you see, it's a very powerful deck if you play the nine, the nine uh, cost cards here. Corina is mostly better used when your opponent does have a board because she can just nuke it away and still do damage to their nexus. And Ledros, of course, in this situation was just a death nail. And even if they played the Ruination, I would have just played uh, Corina Verasa next turn and probably won either way. Or found an atrocity or something like that. I, I would have had a lot of chances to come back from, from that Ruination. That's why I wasn't so worried because I still could play my Ledros next turn because of his last breath. Ledros is really still a powerful card even at 9 mana. They might have to pump it up to 10 mana at some point. Actually. Okay, now against Burn. Against Burn it is very difficult. I haven't played that much against Burn with this deck because for some reason nobody played Burn yesterday against me. Um, Ledros is too slow. Atrocity is also too slow. Though you really want that. Gonna keep the Thermogenic Beam just to have some more medium uh, removal here. Not Oh, the Vire Feast is perfect. Okay. Have to take the free damage, unfortunately, though. 
but this card at least can't block my Elise. So I hopefully make some spiders to block. I really need some life gain. One one uh, Vire Feast isn't enough for that. Vire is very nice in the early game here, but okay, I have to get rid of it because I want my Elise to come through. Make a blocker here, because now I can get rid of the rear guard with Vire Feast and the blocker, if I want to. Also get some damage in already. Probably not gonna want to be the, the faster player here. Another thermogenic beam, that's very nice. I expected that. Gonna vibe feeds this one. Gonna have some blockers still. So next turn is turn 4, so I'm not gonna have the Vi yet. Would love to have some, some Withering Whale here. Or even the, the Grasp, just to get some life back. It's another Vi though. Ah. Not the best, but I'm gonna make another blocker here. Also get some damage in. Hope they play a good target for my Thermogenic Beam. And next turn my Elise could kill the Boom Crew Rookie as well. But then the rear guard would get through. Disciple is actually very nice. I want to use that mana here. Even if they have something like Transfusion, they wouldn't be able to save it. They would just be able to use their, their damage clause one more time. Wouldn't be worth it, probably. Because I don't have mana either way. So this doesn't look that bad. Yeah, they're just gonna do some damage here. Might also have been what what I have, would have done, maybe. Because Transfusion, it's okay to be using it as a combat trick, but it's not always the best thing you want. The yeah, the clock is ticking here for me, I, I see that. I see that. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a very tough one. <sighs> Just want to mitigate as much damage as I can, but still. Ooh. They can just kill me with, with a decimate now. Yeah, aggro against control is always favored for the aggro player. Definitely. Can get rid of this rookie finally. Still. Oh, maybe I should have gotten rid of the demolitionist and used the Vi on the rookie, but probably won't matter either way. Because they're just gonna have decimators or two mystic shots or something like that. Ooh, salesman as well. Uh, gonna get rid of the salesman, get myself a spider. But yeah, if they just have a mystic shot, I'm just dead.
Didn't find the life gain here. Still no life gain. Unfortunate. But yeah, you see what this deck is trying to do. You see uh, that it wants to stall and it's a very, very nice late game deck. Um, I'm climbing a little bit with it uh, for the moment. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is TCG Deck Tech signing out.